just hold tight. We're up at the moonlight. Believe in the magic. It's that time of year again. It is time to make some Christmas baskets. I'm so excited for this year's Christmas baskets. I actually was smart and I pre-shopped for some baskets at Michael's. I got these for 80% off. And in this video, you're gonna see me zhuzhing them up with some ribbon bunch of different kinds of ribbon and that's all I do really to make it look pretty and then um, I'll show you guys how I stuff them and then what I put inside and then how I wrap it up now if this is overwhelming for you guys I completely understand this is a lot a lot so if you guys don't have time to make baskets I have another option for you this just in Fat Fit Fun is sponsoring this portion of my video. Yay! The winter box is here and you guys can get your hands on it. And you can get $10 off if you use my code HESPY10. That's $10 off. Now these boxes typically retail for $49.99. Now if you haven't heard about FabFitFun, let me tell you a little bit about this company. It is a subscription box and it's quarterly, so you get it four times a year. I wanna show you guys all the amazing things that came in my box this season. So. As I'm pulling stuff out, I do wanna say that you can customize your box and choose which things that you want in it. Not all of the things, but you can pick and choose a few things here and there. This box was sent to me as a complete surprise, which is really fun. It's just like a mystery. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that they sent me, starting with this body scrub. Now, I did wanna say, all these boxes retail for over $200 worth of products. So you're getting quite the deal. And what I love is I get to try all new things that I typically would not buy. So this is a body scrub that you just use in the shower. Very self-explanatory, but exciting because I'm really into scrubs right now. I also got the makeup eraser. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you know I use these all the time. So it's always good to have an extra backup. Love that. I got this Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler, and this is by Dry Bar. This actually retails for $23. Next up, we have this beautiful rose gold bracelet with a Swarovski crystal in it. These, this is so beautiful, and it says it's actually available at Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, and Adore Jewelry. So you're getting items that you're familiar with, um, sh the stores that you shop at, they're items that you'd see at Sephora or at like it says Nordstrom, so that's great. And this actually retails for $39. So right there, that's pretty much the price of the box. Perfect for Christmas. Um, I think I'm actually gonna be gifting a subscription box or two to a few of my friends because I know that they're not big sweets eaters, so um, making a basket for them wouldn't work, but this is perfect. And you can do it on a one-time basis or you can actually do it for the whole year and then you'll just all be all set up for the whole year. But Next up, we have the Exfoliate and Detox Pore Cleansing Clay Mask. Very nice. I definitely use masks at night, and I have not tried this brand before. This is the Erno Laszlo New York brand, so I'm not sure I haven't tried this. This is probably my favorite thing that I got in this. This is the Beauty Bakery palette, and it's called Proof is in the Pudding. Beauty Bakery is a brand that I use very often. In fact, my favorite eyeshadow palette that I own is by Beauty Bakery, and they sent me a new one that has all these beautiful colors. Let's look and see. Let's see what's in here. So it looks like this. It's such a cute packaging too. Beauty Bakery has the cutest stuff. So when you look inside, you have all these beautiful gold and bronzy colors. Oh my gosh, so perfect for the winter season. And this actually retails for $38, so it's quite a deal. Um, this is a splurge, and I'm so excited to be using this new palette. Actually, I'm gonna swatch a color. Ooh, look at this one, Almond Jelly. That looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Let's see how it looks. Wow. 
Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use that eyeshadow. Next up, we have the Cuchillo Yoga Calm and Clean Hand and Body Soap. This soap, let me just smell it and let you know because it's lavender scented, one of my favorite scents of all time. Oh my gosh, that smells heavenly. I cannot wait to use this. This one is going to my bathroom because it's all mine and this retails for $39. So it's quite a pricey hand soap, but um, we'll see if it makes a difference on my hands. And the last two things in my box are a shampoo and conditioner by R Plus Co. This is called Television. It's perfect hair shampoo, perfect hair conditioner, and this brand is phenomenal. I heard about this brand from my hairstylist, actually. She's been doing my hair for, I don't know, maybe a year now, and she has totally transformed my hair from very unhealthy to much healthier, and you guys see how blonde I am. It's not like I'm, I'm using a lot of product on it, but she swears by this brand, and so now she's turned me onto it, and she's given me several products to sample and try, and I cannot wait to start using this because this stuff is very pricey. These two combined, it's $64 value. So as you can see, these are little bottles, but they do uh, cost a lot, but so worth it because my hair has literally transformed. And so I could not be more thrilled to have that in this box. It was like mint for me, even though I didn't pick anything out. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to FabFitFun for sending this box out to me. I think this is the perfect Christmas gift. It's great for yourself um, because I'm probably gonna keep all this stuff. I cannot wait to start using it, playing with it. So once again, if you guys are interested in checking out a box, feel free to go onto the FabFitFun website and make sure to enter my code HESPY10 for $10 off your first box and hopefully you guys love it as much as I do. All right, back to Katie. Thanks, Katie. The first thing I like to do when I'm making a basket is of course picking out baskets. And I mentioned in the intro that I bought these at Michael's for 80% off. So I think they cost me like two to $3, um, which is great for a large size basket like this. And they're plain, so you can do whatever you want with them. And I don't have a hot glue gun, but if I did, I feel like I'd get even more creative. But basically, I'm just gonna tie a ribbon around it and just start by making my basket look a little more festive, and then we'll go from there. So what I like to do is shop at Michael's after the season is over. So when the holiday season is over, I'll go and I'll grab all my ribbon, all my tags and stuff for Christmas, wrapping paper, all that stuff, and I kind of find really pretty stuff that's a lot cheaper. So these are just burlap ribbon with some um, sparkly snowflakes on them. So I'm just gonna take this ribbon and wrap it around underneath the handles so the handles can still be used, and then tie a bow in the front. And I think that's gonna be my first basket look. So I have to kind of measure it, and then we'll go from there. It's really simple. I don't want to go too, too crazy because people actually might want to use these baskets later on. So I don't want to like glue a ton of stuff, make it Christmassy, and then they can't use it. So now that we have the bow, we're going to go ahead and add the bottom part, which is just kind of stuffing so that all the things that you're purchasing and showing off, you want to be seen. So I'm going to be using tissue paper to stuff the bottom. I just kind of crumple it up. Um, if you have Christmas colored tissue paper, even better. So I'm just gonna kinda I probably need more than one, but you guys are getting the idea. I'm gonna add a green too, maybe a white. Now if you don't want to use tissue paper, of course you can use newspaper, you can use Trader Joe's bags, like whatever you want to crumple up and put at the bottom. They also sell like basket filler, which you can use, but I'm just kind of using what I have. And the tissue paper that I have here is a, it's like a thicker tissue paper, so I can't really use it in bags. So I'm using it for this. Otherwise I wouldn't be spending that kind of money on a filler, but um, 
Also, if you do decide to get your FabFitFun box, it does come with filler and I'm gonna use that in my baskets. So um, I'm using my whole thing, my, the whole shebang, and I'm just gonna use that to top it off so it just looks pretty. So this is what it looks like so far. It looks very festive. Now I'm gonna start packing my basket. So what I like to do is what I call stadium placement. Basically, exactly how you would think. You do tall stuff first. So we got a really big tall box of chocolate stars, dark chocolate stars. Those are gonna be in the back, so that way everything else that's placed can be seen. Now that I have my chocolate stars in here, I kind of grabbed a couple things that I thought would go well in this basket. Um, so I'm just gonna start placing them in there and you guys can see how I do it. So I have the gingerbread cake mix next, um, the chocolate covered peppermint Jojo's, always a favorite. I have to put these in here, I love these the peppermint pretzel slims. I always do a body care item in my baskets because I think you need a good balance. This is a lot of sweets. So I'm actually gonna put the candle tin trio in this one. And then the last item I'm gonna put in here are the Stroop waffle cookies. And I wanna place them down here. I hope they, they can be seen. I think they can. So this is basket number one. The last thing you're gonna do once you've completed your basket is grab some cellophane, I actually have a roll of it. This one is actually made for a, a basket. It's a big bag style, so you just drop it in. So you just drop it in, and then you're just gonna tie it. This is kinda loud, sorry. You're gonna tie it at the top, and then I just put a little gift tag on it, and then you're good to go. But how pretty is this? It looks like it was made by Trader Joe himself. <laughs> So now we're just gonna tie some ribbon around the top and I have these pretty different colored gold, green, and red ribbon. I think I'm gonna use the red. I like thinner ribbon to tie this on because I am gonna be using a tag and I want the tag to be able to like wrap with this. I double knotted it and now I'm gonna find a tag or sometimes I like to add ornaments. This one has a snowflake on it which is so pretty because the other thing has a snowflake on it too. So there, I added a little charm. I feel like adding charms just makes it look really cute and festive. And then I have a bunch of really cool Christmas tags that I can write to and from and then just tie it on and it's good to go. So here is the completed look. It had the snowflake on it, but the ribbon broke. So I just ended up tying the tag. This isn't the right ribbon for that type of ornament, but um, you get the idea. So here's basket number one. I'm gonna set this to the side. Basket number two, ready to go. So I'm gonna start again by, whoops. I'm gonna start by tying a ribbon around it. So let's do, let's do this pretty red glittery one this time. This one's really pretty. The bow on this basket, it is basically glitter everywhere now. My whole counter has glitter on it. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> and then we're gonna do more paper inside. Get some green. And some more green. Now for some fabfit fun filler. Woohoo! I love this stuff, it, it's so nice. So that's what this one looks like. It has a red bow with the green insides this time. Now it's time to stuff this basket. So I'm gonna grab the things I think that will go well in this and then we'll put it all together. So I think I have all the things that I'm gonna put in this basket. Again, starting with largest, we're gonna go with the mini gingerbread men, yum. This is the cutest thing ever. This could be just a gift on its own, but this is the dark chocolate collection and it always makes a gift basket look so extra pretty. Um, the gingerbread crisps, one of my favorite things, I love these. Those are gonna go in there. I decided to add in here the hand soap and lotion set. I love the smell of this, it smells so amazing and I have 
I think still like a half of a soap left um, from, I don't know, last year or the year before. And then I'm also going to include the balsam candle. This smells so amazing. So I guess the theme is kind of, um, you know, cedary, Christmas pine scent, just really yummy stuff. I can't fit this, guys. There's too much. And then the last thing's gonna be these minty mallows, the marshmallows covered in dark chocolate and have mint flavor. And I'm literally like just wedging these in. Now you can't even see the gingerbread man. No, 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 no. So I think that these hot chocolate sticks will fit better right here. There we go, perfect. So we have this basket completed. Um, the candle is balancing for its life. Now it is time to wrap it up. So I have my cellophane wrap. It's real big, but that's nice because then it fits every basket. Now that I have it all wrapped up, I'm gonna go ahead and add another tag to this one. And then we're moving on. I'm only doing four baskets. So we have basket number two all wrapped up and ready to give away. Now we're on to the third basket. Basket number three. I'm gonna go with this really glittery ribbon. One of my favorite ribbons and I think it's gonna be almost gone after this one, but that's okay. Number three is nicely decorated. Um, I wanted to say too, if you guys aren't fans of bows, that's totally cool too. You can always like glue like little puff balls, little pine twine. There's like so many cute ideas. If you're really into like the rustic look, you can do a ribbon like this that has, this, this one has mousse on it, but it has the plaid pattern. And then you can add like sprigs of holly berries and, um, pine and all that stuff and you can use real or fake but that would look really cute too i just don't have time to do all that but um maybe next year that's i'm giving myself ideas um, so anyways we're gonna stuff the basket and then put everything inside this one as well this one has the blue tissue paper as the bottom stuffing with the white that looks really pretty actually i love that I love that blue is still christmasy this is also just a great idea for any holiday um or year round, but these baskets are so much fun to do. Okay, it's time to stuff the basket. So I grabbed the mini dark chocolate mint stars for this guy in the back. And I'm kind of gonna share the back with the JoJo's quad pack of chocolate covered JoJo's. These are amazing, so delicious. And then next up, I have the peppermint bark popcorn. Super cute and fun to put in a basket like this. Then I have the dark chocolate covered orange. Actually, I'm, I changed my mind. I'm gonna do the champagne gummy candies in here. This is a really fun basket. I like so far what I've done. The lip duo is gonna go in this and I am going to be putting a gingerbread candle in here to top it all off. So this one's a little harder to see um, even from looking at it without being able to see it, but the top, the top stuff is kind of falling down. So that's okay. Um, sometimes it's cool to have a surprise too. Um, so yeah, that, that's it for this one. Now we gotta wrap it up. Gift basket number three is complete. One more to go and we are done with Christmas gifts. Well, sort of, but Almost done with Christmas gifts. Now to the last basket. This one, I think I'm gonna be doing ribbon like this. It's green and red. It's very traditional. Has a little gold on it. Uh-oh. Let's see if it's long enough. It's not long enough. No. Oh no. Since that one wasn't long enough, I'm gonna use the moose one. Now I feel like I need to find some sprigs and place them here. Okay, so this one is good to go. This one's a little more laid back, more casual, but I think it would be really cute to put like some holly berries down here, maybe a pine cone, something fun to put like in this empty space, but I'm just gonna leave it plain because I just don't, I don't have all my Christmas stuff out yet. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys my basket. So that's why I'm kind of 
doing this, but you're giving you ideas as we go because trust me, everyone appreciates a gift basket even if you do nothing. If you just gave it to them like this, they would not care because they're always nice to get and receive. So let's stuff this bad boy. Oh yeah, purple, very Christmassy. Purple and yellow in here. Lakers, baby. Now it's time to stuff the basket. Starting with the pepper noose spiced cookies. These are going back here. I'm also putting in here the caramel apple flavored granola. Everything goes in the back. I wanna put a lot in here, so we'll, hopefully it all works out, but I'm gonna be doing the peppermint bark in here as well. It's already filled to the brim. Maybe I'll do it to its side. There we go. I'm doing the essential oil collection in here and the face mask trio. This can probably fit in the back. I also wanted to add the dark chocolate orange, probably up here. Hopefully it's not covering too much. And then lastly, the balsam candle in here as well. So a little bit's getting covered up, but you guys get the idea. This is this basket. It's stuffed. <laughs> number four is done and that's a wrap quite literally on these gift baskets I hope this video came to you at a good time that you guys are able to get a good idea of what you want to do for Christmas or if it's just fun to watch someone put together some baskets I'm here for you for that so thank you so much for watching I can't wait to start sending out my FabFitFun subscription to a few of my friends because I am loving the box that I got everything in it is just Oh, it's good. It's a good winter box. So if you guys don't have time for this, don't forget those subscription boxes are so much fun to open when you get something in the mail. I mean, I love getting things in the mail, especially packages. So I think it would be a great idea, great gift, and gift it to yourself, girl. You deserve it. You've been working hard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.